the International Mathematical Olympiad 2020 was held just a few days ago, and although results are still yet to be announced, many people have been sharing their thoughts on the problems this year. In this video, I'm going to share my solutions to the second problem, and I'm going to solve it in 7 minutes. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications. So here's the problem. For all real numbers A, B, C, and D, which are all positive, and A is greater than or equal to B, which is greater than or equal to C, which is greater than or equal to D, and the sum being 1, we have to show that A plus 2B plus 3C plus 4D times A to the A times B to the B times C to the C times D to the D is less than 1. Two strategies came to my mind when I first read the problem. The first one is to take log on both sides, which means log of a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d plus a log a plus b log b plus c log c plus d log d is less than 0. The good thing for this strategy is that the indices will then be taken down and what's left is just a bunch of log terms. However, there is a term log of a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d here, which is hard to deal with, as it could make further steps much more tedious and not elegant, so this strategy seems not the ideal solution for me. The other way is to use the AMGM inequality, a very common way to tackle modern inequalities. Just to recall, here is the AMGM inequality. Looking back into the history of IMO problems, there were several inequalities problems bashable by Merhead, Schur, etc. However, as this skill became more and more well known, inequalities of this type are no longer chosen to be one of the problems in the contest in the previous decade, or else it would become a no-brainer problem when everyone can just follow some standard procedures to complete the problem. Strategies that require more on-the-spot thinking and creativity play a much greater role in recent IMO problems. So apart from using elementary results like the AMGM or the cauchy schwarz inequality, it is far more important to use them in a clever way. Now back to our problem. I've decided to go for the weighted AMGM inequality to rewrite the powers into polynomial expressions. So here is the statement. It says A1 times B1 plus a2 times b, b2 plus all the way to an times bn over a1 plus a2 adding up to an you can imagine this as multiple b1s and multiple b2s etc all added together so there are all together a1 plus a2 adding up to an items and using the amgm you can say that this is greater than or equal to the a1 plus a2 adding up to an root of those bunch of b terms multiplying together, which is b1 to the a1 times b2 to the a2 multiplying up to bn to the an. So with this result, I can say that a to the a times b to the b times c to the c times d to the d to the a plus b plus c plus d root is less than or equal to that fraction. And that fraction, using the fact that a plus b plus c plus d equals 1, could be simplified into a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. And at the same time, the so-called a plus b plus c plus d root is simply just the term itself, because that sum is just 1. So now we have the inequality a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared is greater than or equal to a to the a times b to the b times c to the c times d to the d. Having this, it suffices to prove that this product a plus 2b plus 3c times 4d times a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared is less than 1. Now this is much simpler because it's just another polynomial inequality. To compare things more easily, I would homogenize both sides, which means to make both sides 
polynomials of the same degree. So now you may notice that the left hand side is of degree 3 and the right hand side is a constant. So we need to do some work on that. It is easy for this inequality because the tool we have is replacing 1 by a plus b plus c plus d, which allows us to add degree 1 by 1. So the required inequality becomes a plus 2b times plus 3c plus 4d times a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared is less than a plus c plus c plus a plus b plus c plus d whole cubed. Notice that the right hand side power would equal to this bunch of terms, the sum of the cubes, and you have uh, 12 terms of the form a squared b, which all have coefficients 3, and 4 terms of the form a, b, c, which have coefficients 6. And by regrouping, taking common factors of a squared, b squared, c squared, d squared, you can rewrite the terms into this form. And at the same time, you can split left-hand side and rewrite that as this sum. Again, taking common factors a squared, b squared, c squared, d squared. And so we can compare them group by group. We can quickly tell that this inequality is true because a plus 2b plus 3c plus 4d, this term, is less than or equal to this term, which is less than or equal to this term, which is less than or equal to this term, which is less than or equal to this term. So adding them all up, the all, all the terms at the left-hand side, plus total sum, must be less than or equal to all the terms at the right-hand side. And finally, because of the extra terms, the A, B, C terms, which are all positive because A, B, C, D are positive. So equality will never hold. And so we have the strict inequality as stated in the problem. So yay, we are done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts in the comments. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram page. See you next time.